Hi, Horizon Second Grade. Thanks for having us here today. We are here with Art Rageous, which is very similar to Art Smart, except we are studying the elements of art and current curriculum in addition to art technique. So we're kind of doing something a little different, but complementing Art Smart. So this is very similar. We are going to work on a butterfly today, but before we do that, we are gonna talk about the elements of art. Maybe you guys have seen this in your classroom hanging up, or maybe you'll receive this as a handout in future art sessions, but in this one, we're gonna focus on one element of art. But before we do, elements of art are just like the ABCs of art. So just like you study and learn your ABCs for reading and one, two, threes for mathematics, we also are gonna learn the ABCs of art, which are line, shape and form, which we'll work on today, color, which we'll work with today, and advanced elements, which are texture, how something looks or feels, space and size, and value. Space and size helps us know where to put it on the paper, and value shows shading from the light that's cast onto an object. But we're gonna work here, and so I'm sure many of you have worked on lines before, where you can do all different lines and draw curvy lines, straight lines, a rainbow, all kinds of things that set up your, your art. But today we're gonna to work on shape and form. And shape and form can be grouped into basically two or three different groupings. And one of those groupings is called geometric. And you guys know your geometric shapes, right? Yes, very good. So rectangle, square, triangle, circle, oval, these are all shapes you've learned and these are man-made shapes and so they're called geometric shapes and they're straight. Then there's organic shapes. Have any of you heard of organic shapes before? Good, yes, so a leaf on a tree is an organic shape because it's made by nature and the same with the cloud and the shape of the crescent moon and a heart and so those are natural shapes or organic shapes. And then we have a freeform shape, which is something that's not necessarily symmetrical, like your rectangle here is symmetrical, but the freeform shape's not. And that might be a Batman pow, or one of those bursts that you see. And those aren't always symmetrical, they're freeform shapes. And then there's 3D shapes. And in a, another lesson later, we'll be learning about those and what 3D means compared to 2D, which is just a flat rectangle or flat square versus a cube, or maybe um, a pyramid or cylinder. So those are things that are 3D, and we're not gonna study that this time, we're gonna work over here, but they're also part of this element of art. So every bit of art, even the most famous works of art, have these elements. So we're gonna study shape and form. And so for the project that we have today, the first thing you're gonna do when you get back to your classrooms is you're gonna choose your wings. All the wings are black, they're the same color. And there's four different kinds. There's dragonfly wings, which are these. And then there's three different butterfly wings. So just to give you an idea of the shape, there's that, that butterfly wing. And here's another one. They're all different. And here's this one, and they're all different. But when you open them, then they have symmetry and they're symmetrical, you can see, on each side. So each side is the same or reflective across the middle. So like you can see, this side is symmetrical with this side, and that's what butterflies have. That's a natural symmetry, and we're gonna use that today. So today I'm gonna do a dragonfly example. So once you pick your wings, then you set your wings however you want. You can turn them however you want, but they're gonna be symmetrical. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to your fractions. So we've got a little baggie for you that's got fraction pieces in it. And these are, some, these are geometric, symmetrical fractions of things that have been cut for you that make triangles. So these are all triangles and you can see how they're shaped. So this is a full shape like this, but when cut in half, it's a symmetrical two piece that'll work perfect for your butterfly. So you have to figure out when you get these pieces how to lay them on your butterfly so they're symmetrical. So that's part of the challenge of this art piece. So you wanna choose carefully how you lay them out so that when they, when they look against each other, they're the same. And you can do that with the smaller pieces too. So however you might wanna put them. And, and sometimes they have um, 
yellow on the back and, and, and sometimes they have green, so they're different colors. So you could, they're all neon colors, so they should shine really well. So then you have them on your butterfly. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go for your other shapes, which are your circle shapes. And everybody's gonna get a bag full of shapes you can share with your friends, but these are all shapes that you can, you can use or you can share with your friends. And you wanna put them on your butterfly, wherever you think would be cool, or your dragonfly. And when you do it on your design, you can move these shapes wherever you want. So what you wanna do is you wanna position them and then you wanna glue them down. And so another thing you can do, which I think is neat for the dragonfly, is you can also, if you have find a piece of paper that's like this, you can cut strips that also can be symmetrical and are more like a dragonfly with stripes. So if you've seen a dragonfly, some of them have stripes across it. So that's cool too. So once you have your design set up, then you wanna tape those down. Now the other things that we're gonna provide for you before we get to the fun part is we're gonna also have funky colored paper. And when you create your shapes from this funky colored paper that's already in small pieces, you can use your scissors and you can make any shape you want. I would suggest you go with something somewhat um, symmetrical, but you can do any shape you want out of that. You can cut it with scissors. If it's not symmetrical, that's okay. But here's a shape that I think is really neat, and I'm gonna put that right there across those stripes on this piece. And then I, I might wanna try to see if I can make another one just similar to it on the other side that looks kind of similar. And if it's not perfect, that's okay. You know why? Because it's art, and art's never perfect. It's always fun. So you can see they're a little bit different size, but that's okay, I think that's great. You wanna try to do the, as best symmetry as you can, but have fun with it too and not stress about it. So once you do your fractions and your symmetrical and you glue those down and then you do some colored paper, then you can trim out your shape and you each have your own shape. So you're gonna be given a piece of paper that looks like this with your picture on it. And what we want you to do is trim around so that you have your special shape and then you're gonna be the butterfly. So you're gonna put that in the middle. So once you have it all set, then you get your glue out and you go ahead and glue it down. And if you have time, you can take your marker and you can decorate with lines on some of your shapes. So on here, maybe I wanna add some design in my stripes to make it look even cooler. And you can do that if you want, if you have time with your markers um, that you have at, at your table or crayons and you can draw some lines. And then the last thing you're gonna do, and you guys wanna be thinking about this as you work, is we're gonna finish the sentence, if I was a butterfly, or if I was a dragonfly, what would you do? If you were a dragonfly, what would you do? So this is meant to complete that sentence. So for example, if I was a dragonfly, I would fly to the top of my house. So that's a great example of writing using your strip and explaining what would you do. Now you guys might think of something even sillier or even more imaginative, but I wonder what my house looks like from the top. I don't know because I go in it. So once you're done with these, and we wanna make sure you have your labels on and we're gonna turn them in and we're gonna display these. I'm so excited for you guys. Be thinking of your sentence while you work on your art and be thinking about your symmetry on your dragonfly or your butterfly drawing and have fun.